here's something that nobody can debate. True crime podcasts are a hit, especially with women. That's right. According to a recent study, true crime audiences are about 73% female. Who mm. knew? But have you ever wondered why we've got such a dark fascination with these truly horrific tales? I know we do. <laughs> Here to enlighten us is Darren Karp. She's host of the popular podcast, Shaken and Disturbed, and her latest show, Killer Questions Ooh. with Darren Karp. Welcome, Darren. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. I'm terrified by the way you guys look right now. I mean, I'm, I'm shaking in my boots. Oh no, don't oh, be terrified. No. I'm wondering if I'll turn into a princess at midnight. <laughs> All right, so I want to know, why do you think women love listening to stories of other women being beaten, chopped, sh yeah. stabbed, worse? Like, what is that? Women have such sick tendencies, don't we? I mean, I honestly think I've, I've been asked this question a lot. And honestly, it comes down to a phrase that I've used quite often that I can't I don't know who coined this phrase originally, but whoever did was actually a genius. But essentially, you have heterosexual couple or a man and woman going on a date. And the woman's biggest fear is that she's going to be murdered mm. or raped or something horrible is going to happen to her. And the biggest fear the man has is being embarrassed. And when you put That's those different. levels, OK, that someone thinks they're going to be raped and murdered on the level of someone being embarrassed... Uh, there's a lot of empowerment that comes with learning a lot of these stories. I mean, I think it is in women's best interest a lot. It is a female tendency, I think, to want to protect ourselves. That's kind of how we kind of grow up in the world. And hearing these stories gives us a sense of empowerment, gives us a sense of control, gives us a sense that we may have a, an idea of what might happen if this happens to us, even though it's still very rare. I'm still going to say crime is down across the board. But still, right. I mean, I, I think it gives women their own storylines back in their hands. Well said. And do you think there are any real life lessons to be learned from listening to true crime? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the classic thing of don't talk to strangers. There's certain yes. things you can do, but specifically, you know, not just necessarily warning signs, because honestly, this can happen a lot. A lot of murders, a lot of crime happens with people that you know. And ultimately, that happens because you've built trust with that person. And so it's really hard to say, don't trust anyone. But the interesting things that you can learn from true crime or people who have been kidnapped before is what it's a little bit like taken. It's what to do if and when this happens. Mm. Signs to look out for tattoos right. on their body. How tall are they? Little defining features that you might be oh, wow. able to tell the police afterwards. Staying calm under these situations. I mean, there's a lot to be learned from the true crime community, not just necessarily how to prevent it, but what you do if and when, Absolutely. again, unlikely, it happens. That happens. I mean, that really is some great points. You know, I want to talk about your shows. Mm -hmm. How did you get so fascinated with true crime? It's a really good question. I grew up in, I grew up in, I was born in 1988, and so I kind of grew up in the 90s mm -hmm. where true crime was really becoming <laughs> this, for lack of a better term, almost a soap opera. I mean, we had, Court TV was really coming out. O.J. Simpson trial, Jean Benet yep. Ramsey, her and I were the same age. Wow. Andrea Yates, who had killed and drowned her kids in the early 2000s, boggled my mind. She pled insanity to that. It boggled my mind just because a mother killing her children, I just couldn't have thought at the time of anything kind of worse than that. It really wasn't expected for women to do this. We are nurturers and mother to be able to actually accomplish this was just crazy to me, honestly, for lack of a better term. And I was just fascinated by it. I mean, I always say that murder is recession proof. And I really am a victim's advocate. I don't believe in capital punishment. I do believe there's so many okay. wrongful convictions out there. Yeah. And I'm an advocate for that. And so I just wanted to be sort of a voice for those victims and the people that really couldn't be hurt. Absolutely. Well, considering our audience is mostly female, I think they're super interested in what you have to say. Where can we go for more information? Well, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, at Carpe Darren. I'm always reporting on live crimes like the Adnan Sayed release that just happened a, a little while ago. Uh, but you can also listen to my podcast, Shaken and Disturbed, wherever you get your podcasts, and Killer Questions with Darren Carp, which is on yeah. Investigation Discovery. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time, Darren. We'll be right Thank back. Thank you.